Okay, the stretches I'm about to show you is part of my daily routine. Now I have my assistant here, Todd. He is gonna be doing the stretches for you while I'm filming. Now keep in mind that these stretches you might've seen in other sports, but I've been in all kinds of sports. And these are some that I put together and I have a specific routine for them just to finish in a timely manner because this is something I do early in the morning just to help me get ready for the day. Now I've been a CNA and I work 12 hour shifts. So being on my feet for that long really takes a toll on the body, the back, the legs, the feet. And working in construction, wearing steel toe boots. So being on your feet for a long period of time, it does put a lot of stress on your feet. Yeah. And throughout these series of stretches that we, uh, that we are performing today, these stretches are mostly to get the main parts of the body that you're gonna be using mostly, either while you're on your feet, if you're lifting, using your back. These stretches are designed to help with your body to make you to make you perform like your daily routines every day, either in the morning or in the afternoon or at night. It also helps loosen up the body. Now you feel more awake and you feel more motivated. So no matter what sport you're into or what job you have, I encourage everyone to try these uh, stretches and you'll see how much the difference it makes in your day. And keep in mind, when the first time you do these stretches, you're gonna be really sore. That's because your body is not used to it. But the more you do it, your body will get used to it. And also, the first time you do it, it will take you maybe half an hour to finish the stretches. Now, if you make it a daily routine, that time will be cut in half because now your body is used to it. Mm -hmm. Doing the main ones in the morning, if you're just doing them to wake up, doing the main ones would probably take a little bit of time. But let's say you get back from work and you're feeling really rough, you're feeling tired. And that's when you can do these routines to help you throughout the rest of your day to either keep you awake or to help you move around a bit more. Usually your body is more flexible around at four, three to four, or even five if you're off then. And doing these stretches are what keep you moving, keeping you awake, keeping the blood flow through your body going, and also staying hydrated as well. Like maybe having like a glass of water in the morning or in the afternoon, like usually having one when you wake up. Then after you're done getting whatever you whatever you do in the morning, either bathing and brushing your teeth, doing these stretches to help you get more awake, gets everything going so that way when it comes in the afternoon, it's not as hard as it was in the morning because your body was just now waking up. So once in the afternoon, your body is already up, you're already moving. Now doing these again in the afternoon is just continuing getting more of you, getting the blood flow going and helping you be more flexible. Okay, so I'm about to begin these stretches. And like I said, got Todd here. He's gonna demonstrate, so enjoy. All right, so for the first stretch, I'll be doing the bungee stretch. So I have one of these right here that I usually use to stretch. I like this because it adds more of a restraint on it while I stretch. You could use this or you could use one of the hugger straps here or a jump strap. You usually find these at any of the sports store. So, so we we'll start right here. So I have my hook out where it's facing out and then I have these two connect right there. As such, and this is where I begin. So now he's going to raise up his leg. Slowly. Now he's stretching out his hamstring. Now here's another angle to get a better look. Now he's going to hold it up there until he feels like it's a good enough stretch. And he is going to slowly lower his leg. And always slowly lower your legs or any muscles when doing stretches so you don't pull them. Now, if you notice, we use the bungee cords a lot because they wrap tight around our foot and they relax our arches. Now, as he switches his hand 
and uses the other one to slowly guide his leg. Now he is stretching it inside the inner thighs. Now if you notice his right hand, it helps get just a little more of a stretch. And when he's done, he slowly lets it down. Now he guides it towards the other side. And you see he uses his left arm too to get just a little more stretch. You're stretching out different areas of your legs. And always goes back to its original position. Same thing, different side. Here's some pictures to save some time. So when you're doing a stretch like this, you can also feel it on your abs, even though you are laying on your side. And from this position, we slowly turn ourselves over. While holding, we slowly pull over our head. From this position, I start from the center, which allows me to move side to side and back to the center position. different side now. So, like he said, same thing, different side. So here's some pictures to save some time. All right, so for the third stretch, we're gonna be doing more of our leg and lower back stretch. So, for me, I use two dumbbells to kind of get more of my sturdiness and help me balance a bit while I'm stretching. But if you're more younger, if you're like more agile, or more flexible, more power to you. Well, this is for more of the people who aren't able to, who aren't that flexible and who aren't that able to pretty much perform this stretch. So this is how we do it. So we, you can pick either side, either your left or right. I always start with my left. So from here, take one arm, go by, under part by the lower leg, take your other leg, grab it by your calf, and right here you want your sternum to be right on your leg, or at least right there by your knee. So from here, you slowly go down. Slowly back up. 
From here, you want to grab both your ankles, slowly pull yourself down and hold it. Always remember to breathe, you're going to feel the main stretch in your lower back. And from there, slowly lift yourself up. Now he's getting ready to do a hip stretch. So what he's going to do is lift his butt in the air and push down on his hips slowly. And then he's going to hold it. This is a good hip stretch. And then slowly, he's going to let it down. Now I like to do these three stretches all in a row because my leg is already crossed. So what I'm going to do is pull the leg to the other side. Now this helps your lower back. So this is good for sciatic nerve pain. We're just gonna hold it. Now we're gonna reach through between our legs and grab the other leg and just kind of relax as we lay back. This also stretches our shoulders. So just hold it there and it gets another part of your lower back. So I like doing all three of these in a row because it does save some time, especially in the mornings. Same thing, different side. Here's some pictures to save some time. Now with this next stretch, the best way I can describe it is a stretch in the corner of your butt. Now if you don't think your butt has corners, try doing this stretch and you'll be thinking different because you can feel the stretch. Now, he's gonna lean forward far enough. This is stretches in your back. Now with this stretch, you're stretching part of the shoulders. So what he's doing is he's resisting, he's pulling against himself as he puts the hand, other hand over. Same thing, different side. Now this is gonna stretch your back, your shoulders, part of the upper part of your back. So he leans over again. Now he is trying to relax. He's gonna lean over so much that his back relax. Now he grabs the dumbbells. Now what he's gonna do is pull against the dumbbells, not too much because he can pull them, but he needs them just to stretch his back just a little bit. So he's holding it there till he feels like he has a good enough stretch. So as he switches sides, trying to get a good stretch. Now he's going to reach across and he's going to hold it. It's helping get a deeper stretch. This targets pretty much near your shoulders, your armpit area. And you just hold it. Now he's going to put them on the side because his next stretch is going to be like a half row. And like before, he's going to use them to pull against, not too hard though, just enough to stretch the muscles between his shoulder blades. Now this feels really good, but do it with caution. So get a good look at the different angles that he's at. Make sure you do it right. For the next stretch, you want to have both your hands wrapped around the back of your head. And you want to be on your tippy toes while performing the stretch. Your forearms planted down on the ground as well. And from here, this is to help balance out your body. So if you struggle with balancing, this one will help you secure it. And from here, you want to hold it and go slightly forward. And then after that, you want to go slightly to the left and then to the right 
then back to the middle and from there you want to slowly come back up but be cautious with this stretch and always remember to breathe for this next stretch I usually do it holding on to my legs and Todd does it hands free but for this he's going to do it my way now if you hold it right there and you pull it you're going to hit the center of your back just like that now as you go from side to side over your shoulder you're going to get more up by your shoulder blades and feel it by your neck If you ain't used to doing that, just take your time and inhale and do it again. Now for this one, he's just gonna sit there, stretch his knees. Helps loosen your knees up. Now he gets on his toes what he's doing is stretching his arches. If your feet are sore, that's a good way to stretch the arches. Now, just to help save time, I like to stretch my forearms at the same time. Now again, a squatting position. Now from all those back stretches that we did, I squeeze my legs just to feel the contraction in my back. It's sort of like a exercise. Now with this one, I stretch out the bicep. Now there's two ways. See, notice he has his palm up. And if he has his palm down, you get two different stretches and a little deeper stretch than the other one. So you feel it up in your shoulders and the rotator cuffs and your bicep. Now, this doesn't look like much, but if you lay like this and then you twist your torso, you're gonna feel the stretch around your ribs. And then you could just relax after you're done twisting, but do it slowly. And then you can just hold it there for side to side. Same thing, different side. Here's some pictures to save some time. So now, he's pretty much gonna stretch his abs just a little bit, but you see how he rocks from side to side? Do it slowly, you're gonna stretch above your hips, almost on your lower abs in your front of your hips, in that area. And then you get to the center and then you hold it. Now he is gonna lift his butt in the air because he's gonna stretch out his calves. And then he slowly will walk back with his legs. Also doing this kind of relieves pressure from your lower back. As he slowly walks back, he's gonna grab his legs bend his legs, take a deep breath, and he's gonna hold it. This is a good stretch to do in the morning, but for some people they can get dizzy. So do it slowly with caution. For the split stretch, you wanna slowly move your legs outwards. While doing so, you're gonna feel a stretch in the inner thighs you want to slowly put your forearms facing down and go as far as you can down and hold it. You're going to feel a stretch in your lower back, in your inner thighs. And from there, always remember to breathe. And when you come up, slowly come up onto your palms, look forward and slowly move your feet back.
For this stretch, you want one leg forward on your knee, the other one back with your tippy toes up. And from there, you want put move both your palms back, facing down, and slowly move yourself up for balance. And this is to help those that are just now beginning this stretch. And always look forward and always remember to breathe while doing this stretch. So, same thing, different side. So here's some pictures to save some time. So with this next stretch, you're gonna stretch your ankles and the side of your calves. Now be careful when doing this. Don't do it longer than five seconds. And this next stretch is another lower back stretch. So shoulder width apart. You wanna slowly come down to touch the ground. You wanna grab the back of your calves and slowly pull yourself together towards your legs. You wanna hold it for 10 seconds. Then you want to let yourself slightly go, slowly go up, and always remember to breathe. Here's another stretch. You can use this stretch in any high surface. So you want to slowly grab onto your shins and on your calf, and slowly pull yourself down, and slowly pull yourself up to have more resistance, and hold it there for 10 seconds. After you feel stretched out, slowly let yourself go and go back up. And always remember to breathe. With this next stretch, it can help with knee pain. You're gonna sit on your foot. Then you're gonna cross your other leg. And then you're gonna push your hip down. Slowly hold it and then release. Now this will stretch the front part of your hip. It will also relieve the pressure if you have sore calves. Same thing, different side. This is another calf stretch. Notice that the back leg always stays flat on the ground. The front leg is gonna bend. Slowly release. Now, cross your leg over to the other side and slowly bend it. Once again, make sure the back leg does not move. Same thing, different side. Here's some pictures to save some time. Now, we're gonna stretch our abs. So we're just gonna lay on the yoga ball. Now we're gonna lay on our hand. Put it between your shoulder blades. Hold it, it will stretch the side. Near your chest, but on the side. Hold it there. Same thing, different side. Now we're gonna use the ball to stretch our biceps and part of our upper back. Hold it, breathe. Now you're gonna go side to side. When you do that, you're gonna feel a deeper stretch near your shoulders, near your rotator cuffs. Now you're gonna slowly release. So now we're just gonna stretch our arms, mainly our triceps. Now we're gonna get more of our forearms.
Okay, so before you start these stretches, I encourage you to always breathe slowly as you stretch. It's the way for the oxygen to get into your muscles. And also, know your limits. Don't be trying to go fast, especially if your body's not used to it. While, do, while performing these stretches, always do the ones that work best for you. Make your own order. This is just our specific way of doing it. This is what helps us get up in the morning and moving around again in the afternoon. If any of these stretches help you guys, just make your own order. Make a specific order that fits you best and only do what works best for you. If you can, then try it out. If it doesn't work, then try a different one that works for you. Always do what works for you and just keep it like that.